<laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm so freaking bored. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Boone. Should I say Corey in the house? Because that's how I've been feeling lately. Uh, quarantined in the house. <laughs> Um, I don't know dude, awful joke to start off the video, however this is not a joke folks, today we're going to be talking about the resale Supreme Week 5, a distraction away from the pandemic sweeping the nation, oh wait, <laughs> this week is trash, let's <laughs> go. Dude, come on, Supreme. I don't even know what to look forward to anymore. Sports are over. Supreme is having an awful week. But the good news is Boone is dropping a brand new video. Let's go. Um, so yeah, we're going to be going over Supreme Week 5 today. I'm going to help you out with what not to buy because there's really not a lot that you should buy this week. However, those of you that want to waste money on the Supreme website, I'm there with you, baby. We're living the lifestyle, so I'm going to help you guys out with what to go for for the upcoming release. Please drop a like on this video if you all enjoy. Shout out to everyone that's kicking it in the quarantine. Hopefully you boys are getting those dubs on Warzone. But um, let's just hop into this video. If you guys want to join the Discord and be endlessly entertained, feel free to drop a sub on the channel. Hit me up on my Instagram at Boone with proof you subscribed and I'll add you to the group. I'll make sure everyone that's asked for an invite is in the Discord before this upcoming release. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's begin. Starting it off, our premier item of the week is a pack of cookies. Yes, some Oreos bro that's how you know this is a dead week like that's not a hit on Oreos either because I'm definitely hyped this is releasing I'm definitely copping this little joint and of course those scrape to the tummy bro my shit not gonna be hurting after I eat one of these suckers bro, I'm out man um, actually I'm not gonna eat uh, I'll eat one for a video I feel like I owe it to you all but uh, yeah this is gonna be the premier item of the week some Oreos <laughs> but this is not gonna resell. Now we don't have retails as you can obviously see for this week yet, so I'm gonna have to guesstimate a little bit. I'm thinking the Oreos are gonna be like eight to $12. Any of those prices sound appropriate. It is a pack of three, so it's gonna be a singular pack with three Oreos inside. Um, no, these are not going to resell. Like, dude, look at the band-aids from a couple seasons ago or those cop drops. They're still just absolutely bricking. And if you're wondering, yes, I still do have like 20 cop drops and band-aids back there so it's kind of rough out here my kitty has now entered the scene so shout out to her here's her tail um but yeah i would say the oreos are a really good item to multi-cart i forgot to mention free shipping orders over 150 so you already know is that double car season we're about to be making some carts on thursday definitely over 150 to get the free shipping i think it's worth it i wish supreme would do this every week though like come on so if we're dropping over 150 on the site i feel like this should just be a policy like regardless um, but yeah, I think the Oreos are a good multi-cart item. You might make like $5 off a kid in your first period selling them to him, but nobody can go to school. So yeah, um, don't buy these to like think you're going to make money or anything. It is a fun novelty item and of course I'm going to be copping it. Um, but let's move on to the Supreme Timberland collab. <sighs> yeah, Supreme Timberland. I know, bruh. Like who even wants this? Nobody. When Supreme signed this contract, I hope Timberland, the producer, put a gun to James Jebbia's head and said sign that bitch because whose idea was it that we should be doing like 10 Timberland collabs in a row this shit was dead after like the second collab like one pair of Tims with American flags is cool but I don't need patent leather boots and like ugly ass just everything dude this has been an awful collaboration one of the worst um, we've seen from Supreme year after year this year honestly it's not even that bad like I just gave it such a shitty intro but I don't even think this is that bad of a collab it's pretty clean especially compared to other collabs they've done uh, I don't know about resell chief so let's take a closer look at these items so here we have an up close look at some of these crew necks and off a rip I can already tell you cream colorway best color like I feel like I didn't even have to say it we all were thinking it um, the black Black is pretty bad on this one, honestly. So definitely cream colorway is the way to go. What is retail going to be? I'm almost positive Supreme's going to make it 148 just so they can be like, oh, not over 150, $10 right here, son. Like, I already know they're jugging us. So it's probably going to slightly be under 150. Is it worth it for resale? Oh, I don't know about all that, Chief. Um, the economy, I don't even got to say it, but I will say like for a multi-cart and holding on to it for a couple months, this isn't the worst item to pick up, especially the natural color. Uh, but definitely don't think you're gonna make money like first day if you cop this It's really a hold item to be real with you. So I don't really think it's worth it I'm not even gonna bother going for it. I really hate the black colorway 
the red, like, I ain't got to speak on it, trash. I will say, I do think this olive is pretty nice. However, this is, like, far and away the best one. Crew neck's definitely a hold item. I don't really expect much resale. Next up is the Meta Logo long sleeve top. Yeah, no, this is trash. This is not going to resell unless it was, like, 68 bucks maybe. But it's definitely going to not be that cheap. So, definitely a miss. Back logo sweater. I mean, this one's not the worst, to be real. Like, actually, this is gonna match the umbrella that's gonna come out this season. Maybe some hype beast that posts flex fits on Instagram will cop this off you for 200, but probably not gonna happen. So I'd probably avoid this. It's definitely like not a bad personal item, but I would not depend on it for resale. If it did sell, it'd probably be the black colorway. I'm not gonna be buying this. It's kind of rough not knowing retail. Like if this was 128, 138, maybe it'd be a good multi-card item, but I'm probably gonna avoid it. Um, I don't really think it's worth going for. Whoo, well, yeah, that's really bad. So let's move on to the bling hooded items. We'll do both bling items real fast because they're both gonna brick. Don't play games with me bro like these are just uh, they're too much honestly they're really loud I've said it before I'm really not somebody that wants like money all over my clothing it's pretty tacky at least in my opinion but I mean it's really not the worst like the sweat shorts I think are pretty wearable I think the hoodies are pretty trash but um, neither is gonna really resell they're a cool item like I don't know it's not the worst I think the shorts are kind of cool but I definitely would not buy them um, and if you did and expected them to flip no like it's not gonna happen you're just playing yourself but let's go to this Timberland 6 panel this is actually the best clothing item releasing this week um, I actually think I will be grabbing one of these and like I said earlier in the video I'm gonna be trying to make a cart over 150 for that oh, <laughs> free shipping so um, I'm planning on probably getting the black colorway unless it's super poo poo trash I don't know if I've seen a photo of it yet but either the black white or the olive maybe even the navy are the ways to go and this is a really good multi cart item I'm praying it's under 50 bucks like if this is 58 I might uh, I'll probably still buy it in a multi cart but I'm really hoping it's gonna be 48 I think it'd either be 48 or 54 um, but I do think it's a decent item to multi cart and <laughs> like it's a brick week, so I definitely don't expect first day resale. Next up is this grid tape velour jacket. Nobody asked for this. Who wants this? Nobody. So let's keep moving. Woven hooded jacket. I actually think this is kind of a unique item. I think they had a good concept on this, but I wish there was more colorways and it just looked different because it's not that dope. I don't know, man. Like, it's all right, but it's going to actually, I think, match those bags that are coming out later, like the waist bags. So, like, that's cool. Um, not going to resell. Uh, we have the grid taping velour pants and while I do think these are better than the jackets They're still trash. So I wouldn't bother Business hockey jersey, bro. Like who wants a hockey jersey is like business you business majors Maybe you could wear this on your hockey team like I I don't know dude trash so bad terrible hockey jersey um, Jacquard logo denim shirt now this could actually end up being one of the sleeper items of the week I'm not gonna be like yo bro go cop this gonna resell you're gonna be making bread like it's definitely a risk. I'll tell you that right now blue black colorway actually even that pink is kind of a vibe like I would never rock it because I don't think I could but um, I actually think that all these colors are not bad and if the retail is right like if it's not over like 140 I think it's a pretty good multi cart item um, large XL small large and XL will probably do the best XL best size I would guess they've done a lot of all over supreme prints on these denim button-ups before and they've done like decent like the blue colorway definitely is superior it's honestly a pretty clean item like it's really not too bad i'm curious to see it in person because i do think it will be like a 3d logo it's not going to be printed since it's jacquard but uh yeah i don't know if i want to give you guys like the go ahead to cop it but keep your eye out and if you're really desperate to buy some shit to try to flip this is a really good item to target i would say like one of these shirts with a hat not a bad cart maybe throw in some oreos um but what i'll probably be going for is the oreos um, I'm thinking one of these six panels and I'm gonna hit you all with the oddball cuz I'm actually gonna get a waist bag this week cuz I've actually held off on grabbing one of those for a dead week like this I could do a multi cart and this is the perfect time to do it since it has to be over 150 so that's gonna be my cart I recommend if you guys want some bags from this season this is a good time to get them cuz you will get the free shipping uh, next up the pleated trousers and I already know everyone's like oh dude that's so trash like them shit's ugly as hell no bro calm down down, all right there is way shittier stuff this week now I will tell you these are gonna be very overpriced supreme pants also fit kind of aids so those are two really fun facts however 
I actually think these are kind of a vibe. I just like pleated trousers. I think they're dope. Issei Miyake's actually got some really nice pleated trousers. I prefer over these ones a lot more. I'm just a little bummed. It's like a single pleat on both legs. Like I wish it was just smaller ones all over. You'd maybe have to tailor them a bit though because I already know they're going to be super wide legged. Um, but I just don't think it's like as ugly as people are probably thinking they are. They are overpriced though, but it's probably going to be a pass just because like the economy is so busted. No way I'm copying these for the personal right now. Leopard mesh five panel way back in the day i could have seen these being a vibe with supreme um wait is that actual fur bro if these were actual fur i would maybe give it a go ahead but nah no this is really ugly to be real with you i do have a leopard fleece that matches really nicely with this one but like nah bro don't worry i'm not gonna do that to you i'm not buying it um i do think though if this was actual fur it'd kind of be a vibe like maybe but definitely a miss if it did end up flipping it'd be the cheetah one like this actual cheetah colorway and finally we saved the best for last boys we got <sighs> the patent leather just freaking mistake of a shoe no like why why would i have to tell you not to buy this if you were thinking about buying this stop, stop it. it get some help don't play yourself the economy is crashing you do not need some shiny ass glossy hiking boots like you can't even go outside so why would you buy these who knows kitty please stop but yeah this is not worth copping kitty why are you making so much noise? I actually don't think this is like the ugliest sneaker of all time. I've certainly, certainly seen worse from Supreme, but no, do not buy this. It, I don't know what retail is going to be. It could be like pretty cheap, but like, like stop. Why? Don't do it. Um, I don't think they're worth copping. They're definitely not worth copping. Look at this like to dislike ratio, my G. Like that is... That's a lot, that's a lot of hate. So <laughs> I wouldn't bother buying these. So of everything releasing from the week, I would just say maybe the Oreos, uh, probably not the crew neck unless you go for natural. And even in a single cart, bro, it might be rough unless it does meet the 150 threshold. But yeah, Oreos, maybe a hat, Really, if you're trying to like risk it, one of these denim shirts, but I really just wouldn't bother with this week unless you're me and you have to buy stuff every week. <laughs> nah, don't worry. I got you guys on a good live cop, but yeah, me personally, Oreos, hat, bag, one cart. Let's get it. I'll see you all in the next one. It's been your boy, Boone. We're gonna cook it up this Thursday. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm out. Peace. If I